Sutra. Moreover, Ananda, why do I say that the eighteen realms are basically the wonderful nature of true suchness, the treasury of the first come one? Commentary. Shakyamuni Buddha said to Ananda, How is it that the eighteen realms are basically the wonderful nature of true suchness, the treasury of the first come one? What are the eighteen realms? They are the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind. That makes six, together with forms, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, and dramas, the six defiling objects, which are six more realms. To them are added the six consciousness, the eye consciousness, the ear consciousness, the nose consciousness, the tongue consciousness, the body consciousness, and the mind consciousness. These three groups of six. Are the eighteen realms. The six sense organs are matched to the six defining objects, and between them are produced the six consciousnesses. The consciousnesses are divided as that which makes distinctions. The sense organs are divided as that which grows in that they are grown on our bodies. The defining objects are divided by their quality of defilement. They are unclean, and they define the nature of the six organs. When the six organs are matched with the six defiling objects, consciousnesses arise. The eyes see forms and make distinctions among them as being attractive or unattractive. They like the forms or they do not, and thus give rise to discriminations. With the ears, it is the same. They hear sounds as pleasing or displeasing. Either they like a sound, or they do not like it. The production of such distinctions is called the ear consciousness. The nose smells the fragrance and stench. The two defiling objects of fragrance and stench are distinguished as such. They you may like some odors and dislike others, and in this way you give rise to a nose consciousness. The tongue distinguishes flavors because the organ of the tongue. Is matched to the defining objects of flavors. There is the discrimination of flavor. Flavors are either pleasant or disgusting. You either like them or you don't. The body organ is matched with defining objects of touch, smooth or abrasive, coarse or, or fine. Various kinds of sensations, either pleasant or unpleasant. The body organ matched with the defining objects of touch produces a consciousness which discriminates these sensations. The organ of mind is matched with the defining objects of dharma. The five defining objects dis just discussed, forms, sounds, smells, taste, and objects of touch, all have form and appearance. Only the defining objects of dharmas are without form or appearance. There is no representation of them. Nonetheless, when the organ of the mind is matched with the defining objects of dharmas, discrimination is produced in the mind, and so the mind also has consciousness. In this way, the six organs matched with the six defining objects produce the six consciousnesses, and together they make up the eighteen realms. Although they are divided into eighteen realms. They are entirely contained within the wonderful nature of true suchness, of the treasury of the first come one. Sutra Ananda, as you understand it, the eyes and form create the conditions that produce the eye consciousness. Commentary Ananda, as you understand it, Ananda is like the principle which you have already understood. The eyes and form create the conditions that produce. The, the eye consciousness. The organ of the eye matched with the defining object of form are the conditions.